for having me. So as you said, my name is David Chema and I am at Lyason University and I started my customizing shoe business and clothing business a bit over a year ago when I was 17. And to this point, I now have, before I was 15, now I have about 30,000 uh, followers across all my social media platforms, just being Instagram and TikTok. So what I wanted to talk to everybody about is less so the technical aspects of running a business, because I know it varies from whatever business you decide to start, but I wanted to touch upon the traits that I feel like one should nurture if they want to be successful in their business. So these are, to me, self-awareness, the ability to make decisions, uh, the ability to execute and, to pat and for patience. So I'm going to talk about them in order and I'm going to talk about self-awareness first. I feel like self-awareness, self-awareness to me is being able to ask yourself the critical questions about why you act a certain way of how things are, how things can be. So we talked previously about if you want to start a business, you need a passion. And I feel self-awareness is very critical in determining what your passion is. Because when you start your business, you need to be passionate and you need to be aware if are you doing this just because maybe on social media, you're seeing everybody start a business and you, need, you want to start one of your own, or you just simply want to make money, which is okay too. Or is this a passion that you honestly believe in and feel like you can grow into something big and significant? So a lot of people may be wondering to themselves, I know a lot of people are younger in this, what their passion is. So self-awareness is very, also very critical in that because one thing I would ask you, going back to the critical questions that you need to ask yourself is, what have you tried? So for finding your own passion, you may not know what it is, but then again, I'm gonna ask yourself, what different things have you tried? So I started customizing shoe business, which involves a lot of art, it's very, artistic based, but I've tried multiple things when I was younger. I tried basketball. I wasn't good at that. I tried soccer. I tried swimming. I tried karate. There was a lot of different things I tried to try my passion. And like the previous speaker said, I failed and you're going to fail a lot. But eventually I stumbled upon art and at the beginning, I simply did it just because it was my passion. But then I was aware enough of my own skills that I thought to myself, I can turn this into something and I can make this into a product that people would want to actually buy. So that's why I employed my self-awareness and I, I encourage all of you to do the same when finding your own passion. Ask yourselves, what do you like? And if you don't know, try a bunch of things and it's okay if you fail because failing is just kind of part of your growth. Self-awareness is also very important for when you do eventually start your own business, no matter what it is. It doesn't have to be something big to begin with. It can be something small, maybe reselling shoes. You can do what I do, customize. Maybe you know a lot about social media and you want to become a social media agent for other small businesses in your community, something like that. But self, when self-awareness, when you start your business, is more so about how you need to be able to assess your own actions and how it's contributing or hurting your business, if that makes sense. I'm going to elaborate that I'll elaborate on that more. So self-awareness in terms of your success, you have to be able to realize, are you doing the right things? Or are you actually putting in the work? You can't just say to yourself, oh, I'm doing all the right things. How come I'm not seeing the same success? You got to ask yourself, am I working 40 hours a week? Because that's what most entrepreneurs do. Do I really care about this? Am I trying new things? So you have to be constantly be asking yourself questions and constantly employing your self-awareness. And that's when you'll be able to see what is available to you and the different things that you could do to better utilize your business and improve yourself. Self-awareness is not only good for entrepreneurship, but also in your day-to-day -day life. It's always good to constantly assess yourself and watch yourself and watch your own actions. And now I would like to move on to another aspect I feel is very important within entrepreneurship, which is the ability to make decisions. So when I say the ability to make decisions, I want you to notice that I didn't say the ability to make good decisions. I feel as if when you make a decision, it's an implied that you're going to try to make the best decision possible for the best possible outcome. So that's not what I want to talk about. Most of what I want to talk about is the ability to make decisions in general, because I feel as if people try too hard to make 
the best decision possible to be absolutely perfect, to be a perfectionist, which is okay, but you can't become a perfectionist to the point where you don't act, if that makes sense. You have to make sure that you pick, because what matters the most is not making the most perfect decision possible, but it's how you execute in those decisions. For an example, I uh, would say you're picking between two universities. It's implied and of course you're gonna to try to pick the best university possible, but it doesn't matter which one you pick if you don't go to class, if you don't do your homework, if you don't study. So you can see in that scenario, it's not about the decision you made, but it's about how you execute in those decisions. And that's very important in business that you have to make sure that whatever you pick, you have to follow through with it and you have to put in all your effort and all the hard work needed for it to be successful. Now, I realize that most decisions aren't simply that black and white. No, most decisions are shades of gray and have a bunch of nuance. So what I would say to that is that you need to be able to break down decisions into its different components. I don't believe any, for the most part, no decision is inherently black and white, but it becomes black, I mean, no decision is inherently shades of gray, but it becomes shades of gray through various black and white decisions. So when you become faced with a complex problem and you don't know what to do, I would suggest breaking it down into its components, breaking it down and prioritize, do I care about this or this? Do I want to do this or this? You need to be able to break it down and not take it in as a, as a big case and try to minimize it to something that you can handle. And once you break down the problem, you would find that the most simple or the most primary question or decision that you have to make is, am I going to act or am I just going to sit back? And I'd always implore you to act because that's how entrepreneurship is started. That's how every businessman started. Nobody decided to sit back. They decided that they're going to execute and work as hard as they can. That being said, I wanted to move on to the next topic I wanted to talk about, which is execution. So in execution, I wanted to talk about two things. When starting a business, I wanted to start about, talk about content and I wanted to talk about ideas. First, I'm going to talk about ideas. When it comes into execution in terms of your ideas, I want everybody to realize that ideas are nothing without execution. It doesn't matter if you were the first person to think about Netflix before it came out or you were the first person to think of Uber. You didn't execute on it, it is, so it doesn't mean anything. Decisions, ideas are only as worth as much as the work you put in behind those ideas. And going back, going back to my example, uh, when I first started customizing shoes and clothing for other people, it wasn't me sitting down and thinking, how can I start a business? I need to make money. What can I do? It was more so, it was an idea, nothing more than a whim I had. Hey, it would be cool to customize shoes. And then I acted on it. If I didn't act on that decision, that's all would, that idea, that's all it would have been, just an idea. But I acted on it and I tried my best, and I'm still trying my best to put the work behind it, to grow into something significant and try to make a brand out of it. And that's one thing I want everybody to do is that when you have an idea, I understand there may be a lot of judgment around your idea. People may not think, believe in it as much as you do. But I would always implore you to act on it and try your best because you never know until you try. You need to put those ideas to, to life by putting in action. The next thing I wanted to talk about in terms of execution is content. So this is kind of more of a technical aspect of business, but when you start your own business or not even, it doesn't have to be your own business, but let's say you want to become a singer, say you want to become a rapper or any other thing like that. You want to get into entertainment. You want to become a social media influencer, anything like that. You need to put in, you need to post content constantly. I know for posting content, that may be even especially harder because everybody is afraid of judgment about what would my friends think, what would my family think, et cetera. But I want you to think of content as being the lungs of your, of your business and organization. And content gives context to what your business is about. And that is how you help your business grow. So when you execute, make sure you always focus on your ideas and you go through with them and you're constantly posting on the social media platforms in order to get your business out there. I don't think too much about what people would think about you, but just think I believe in this and I'm gonna make it work. And if it doesn't work, 
that's okay because business is about failure. You're going to fail a thousand times before you get that one win. That one win is going to be significant, and I promise you that. And to kind of give an example about posting content and its importance, I am, t- would say uh, TikTok. I feel like a lot of young people nowadays, maybe people have heard of TikTok, it's a video posting platform. And when it first came out, it was, it was a bunch of stigma around it. People may have thought it was cool, uncool, or lame, et cetera. I would say you do have the app, but you never posted on it because you don't want your friends to make fun of you, et cetera. But you need to realize that when it comes to business, those are the, t- like, those are the type of things that you need to execute on. So for my own TikTok, I have about, I have two videos that have reached over a million views. And both those videos, I had no idea it would have been as popular as it would. It just, it just randomly blew up. And but thinking I would never have known, I never would have gotten that outcome if I didn't post out of fear of being criticized or judged. So I want everybody, I employ everybody to execute on their ideas, to post the content needed, and truly invest and believe in yourself. The last thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of uh, execution and my last topic is patience. Patience is the most important thing for business in my opinion, because let's say that you've employed everything that I've talked about, you're self-aware, you make decisions and you execute on them, you, you post content, but for whatever reason, you're not seeing the results that you want. And honestly, that could be very frustrating because uh, you put in all this work and you put in all this effort, but you're not seeing anything. And that could be very frustrating. But one thing I need to, um, uh, one example that I'll give you is that there's been many times where I did a piece of art, I customized a shoe for a client and I posted it and I believed this was it. This is the thing that's going to make me blow up. This is the thing that's going to get me from 100 followers to a thousand followers in a day. There's many times that happened and it never occurred. And, those can be very dis- this could be very discouraging at the very discouraging, but I would employ everybody just to be patient and then just keep doing what you're doing. I can't go to the gym one time and then expect to be uh, Michael B. Jordan or LeBron James. You need to be patient and constantly putting in the work. Now, when I say be patient and constantly putting in the work, I don't mean uh, just blindly uh, acting and when you're seeing no results. But I'm, I want you, everybody to try, try it first, give it an amount of time, and then if it's not working and you truly feel like you haven't done anything else, you got to switch up your game, try something else, and then, again, wait and see if this is working. That's something that I would point everybody to do. So just kind of summarize what all the things I talked about. I talked about self-awareness, being able to ask yourself critical questions, I talked about decision making, being able to execute in those decisions and putting in the hard work necessary and not dwell on what decisions you should make because you can only make the best possible decision and you can in the moment. Uh, One quote that my mom told me is that once you know better, you do better. So just make, do the best you can in the moment. Uh, The second I would say is to execute because your decisions are worth nothing if you don't put in the work behind it. And then the last, I would like to talk about patience. As I talked about patience, give the time needed for to see results and don't rush at anything. Just allow it to happen and it, you will see results eventually. If you don't see results eventually, switch up and then wait again. Don't expect things to happen right away. All right, thanks for, thank you everybody for listening. I hope everybody glad and, and learned something from it. I saw some questions saying what my business is called. My business is called Chim Kicks. So that is C-H-I-M-C-I-C-K. You can see me on TikTok or Instagram. I have a website called chimkicks-ccc.com. And that's my business. And thank you, everybody, for listening to me. And I hope you enjoy my speech and you learn something.